Hey, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to install a uh, WordPress locally in Windows 8.1. So I actually already created one video for Windows 7, but um, I'm not really happy with the quality of the video because uh, I recorded in a, in a not nice rendering dimension. So let's get started. First step is you go to this uh, URL, so wamserver.com and then slash en and then slash if you use English and then you scroll down or you press on uh, download buttons and you will see this. Now uh, you will need to choose the operating system you have. Uh, check out my other tutorial which operating system you have. Is it 32 bits or 64 bits? But uh, I assume that you already know it. So mine using 32 bits. So I'm going to download this uh, 32 bits web server for PHP 5.4. So let's download it. So you might have this kind of warning or you might not, but at the moment I have this kind of warning and uh, you should read if we have uh, these requirements. But for now, let's go to, uh, you can download directly button here and download it. So when it's downloaded, you could do your download folder and you will find this uh, application or exe file and you just double click it to open it and I'm hitting yes and then we install it read the agreements and once you've done it you're going to click I accept the agreement and hit next and make sure that you will install in the root so mine is in F because I have dual boot computer but yours should be in C so just leave it by default and then hit next. And you can uh, have additional icons if you like to. And I'm just leaving by default now and hit next. So uh, in this setup, it will ask you, would you like to install the new server 2 homepage? And I'm going to hit yes. And we leave it all by default and hit next and then uh, if we want to launch Web Server 2 now, we're going to uh, leave it un uh, ticked. So we're going to launch Web Server 2 now. So hit uh, finish and it will launch Web Server here on the corner of your uh, windows. So when one server is active, it should uh, show the green uh, button. So now that we have already one server downloaded and, and installed, next is we're going to WordPress.org here and then click on download WordPress 3.8.1 um, button. So basically you download the latest version of WordPress, click on that. And in here in this page, we're going to download uh, the zip file. So click on this button and it will be downloading our files. So when it's downloaded, you're going to open it in, uh, in your downloads folder here we're going to extract it, so extract all. So we're going to extract it in this download folder. So we're going to delete this uh, in the back, what WordPress 3.8.1, and then hit extract. So once it's uh, extracted, you either can uh, save your WordPress 3.8.1 zip file here, or you can delete it to your uh, recycle bin. So uh, what the most important thing is that you check on WordPress folder and if you see the whole files is downloaded properly and if yes you're going to go to downloads again and then uh, select that WordPress folder and then right click it and then cut and then we go to um, our system root. So mine is on F because I dual put my computer and yours should be C. So you're going to go to C, local disk, but I dual put mine so I go to F and then go inside WAM folder, double click it and then go to www folder and then here we're going to right click and paste the WordPress folder. Once it's pasted, we're going to rename this folder to something that we can uh, remember. So rename it and then name anything that meaningful to your local site. Mine will be renamed as blog web six local. And once I rename it, and then I go back to my browser and make sure that one server is running here in the green icon button here. And then we go uh, navigate to localhost. Type in localhost and hit enter. And if everything goes well, it should uh, appear something like this. So as you can see, I have now my project, which is called Block Web 6 Local, the same folder name like I uh, created earlier. 
and the tools is PHP my admin. Now so let's open my projects which is blog web6 local by dragging this folder to our new tab and you should see create a configuration file. So let's create a configuration file and as you can see now we should uh, type in database name and username and so forth. So let's uh, do that. The first step is we go back to our web server and go to phpMyAdmin under tools. And inside phpMyAdmin, the username we're going to type in root and then uh, the password should be empty and then hit go. So here in databases tab, we're going to create new database. So let's click on databases tab. And let's create new database here. We're going to type in blog web6 local db. As, uh, make sure that you have a kind of similar name. So next time when you open your databases, you will remember what it is. And then blog, blog web6 local db and then hit create. And now that once it's created, we go back to our WordPress uh, configuration file and hit let's go. And here we're going to name it database name. You remember blog web6 local db. And if you don't remember, go back to your local host and um, check your uh, database, database name that we've just created. And then go back here again. The username should be root. And the, I mean, the um, lower, um, lowercase root. And then the password should be blank. And database name localhost. And table prefix we change it to any um, letter and any number as we like and then hit submit and now that we've done it we're going to hit run the install so now we're going to type in site title for example like blog web6 dot org uh, local and the username should be kimi for example like kimi web6 and my password would be And another one. And make sure that it says very strong. If it's so slim, something like that, you need to modify your password. And my email address will be my email address. And because uh, this is local blog, so I don't want Google to index this site. So uh, make sure that you tick off allow search engine to index this site and let's hit install WordPress. There it is. Now we can log in to our site. And my username was KimiWeb6 and the password was uh, this one. And hit login. So now we have already our site uh, installed. Let's visit our site to see is if everything is working. So that's all guys, how you can install uh, WordPress 3.8 in your computer on Windows 8 with WAM server. So thank you so much for watching and please like or share my video if it's helpful for you. So take care of yourself and see you in the next video. Goodbye.